what's going on in New York, right? So um, there's a mixed bag of news coming out of uh, the great state of New York. By way of a new report, there we go. Mm -hmm. By way of a new report. There we go. Filed by the state's Office of Cannabis Management, also known as the OCM, uh, but also the Cannabis Control Board, CCB, this week, showing that there has been a significant growth in Empire State's legal cannabis market. So big ups to New York, man. It's some positive news, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. yeah, good luck. Good job, New York. We'll see. I'm sure you're going to screw it up somehow or another, though. Oh, I mean, it is oh, New boy. York. Well, I haven't, I haven't finished here. So um, they've generated uh, nearly $654 million in sales <laughs> in two years, <laughs> despite a uh, number of highly publicized setbacks over the past two months. Right? And... Um, that goes without saying, man. It's uh, they had a slow rollout, and they're doing better now. Um, however, this report that they came out with this Monday um, also revealed that over 200 "quote unquote" justice-involved retail license holders remain in limbo. Right, so the justice-involved um, uh, retail licenses everywhere else we call them social equity um, out there, the card licensees, mm -hmm. uh, they're facing difficulties in securing funding and compliant retail sp uh, spaces. Um, I don't know about you, Jason, but um, does that sound familiar? Uh, socialist equity? <laughs> Is that what we're talking oh, about? Here? Anybody in California could have told you that. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, I'm really, really, I promise you, I'm not trying to beat a dead horse on this one, but we've been calling this from the jump. It, everything sounded great in the beginning, but they had their hiccups. Uh, the report highlighted several challenges in New York cannabis industry, including gaps in the regulatory system, uh, enforcement against unlicensed businesses and uh, financial obstacles for all of these social equity applicants, right? So um, uh, don't need to put a damper on everything. They are starting to get rolling. They have lot, lots more licenses coming out. Um, they have a, a little change of a regime with Eric Adams, maybe in, maybe out. I don't know. He has a lot of conservative support these oh, days. I see what you did there, so, uh, Rico. <laughs> I see what you did there. Maybe in, maybe out. You know what I mean? It's, it's not just for belly buttons, huh? I don't know, man. You you know, he, he hates rats. But um, <laughs> <laughs> of the uh, 1,704 permits issued, 205 were conditional adult use retail dispensaries or card licensees. And uh, they were aimed at these justice involved in individuals. And out of the 205 card licenses, only 150 of those were operational by mid-September. Uh, the Cannabis Social Equity Investment Fund, original set to provide $200 million, shout out to Chris Weber, <laughs> out there, uh, it was originally set to provide $200 million for approved applicants, and it has only supported 20 to zero mm -hmm. card licensees, uh, despite 463 being eligible. Sound successful to you, Jason? Very successful. <laughs> I mean, so much, they should put out a press release. They have. <laughs> and um, card licensees, despite 463 being eligible. Additionally, licensed medical operators um, have been slow to open and enter the recreational market with only four four of the eligible 10 companies opening dual use dispensaries so for anyone that can't do math that's less than half yeah it's 40 percent mm -hmm. so um yeah like etane cure leaf um all the bigs uh, that everybody was worried about like hogging up the market they haven't even opened yet and they're still struggling so legal and i don't really think they see a benefit of jumping into the legal market right now because of all the uh, uh the difficulties that everybody else is feeling but i digress mm -hmm. um legal sales have steadily increased Increased, hitting a record of 97.4 million in August. This is partly due to the crackdowns and uh, on unlicensed businesses, um, a la Operation Padlock to Protect. Um, also known, <laughs> you know, and y'all were laughing at me when I called it OPP uh -huh. uh, back in the day, but now that uh, the good Mayor Adams yeah. is in his predicament, y'all thought it was a joke. <laughs> it's, I mean, it's always, it's, you know, yeah, it, it's, what, it it's is, what they do. It is what it is. But the report closed out by recommending several policy changes, including reducing regulatory costs for licenses, offering more financial support to social equity businesses, expanding enforcement efforts efforts and revising packaging rules to favor environmentally sustainable practices. 
you know, a bunch of common sense shit, <laughs> right? If you well, do if common right, sense was so common, dot, dot, dot. Right? We'd all be rich. I don't know about all that because there's a lot of people that don't have common sense at all. Yeah, you common dollars. And right? rich as shit. Yeah, you mean common dollars. But um, <laughs> changes uh, that both agencies uh, are saying that will strengthen New York's legal cannabis industry while addressing these ongoing challenges. So, um, like I said earlier, I'm not going to beat a dead horse with this and say, I told you so. Um, like, I ain't already done that every single time we bring up social equity in New York. God damn, man. Um, uh, New York was supposed to be it. They started everything from the community. Um, they had all the uh, proper legacy players uh, in place, and um, it didn't work. Mm -hmm. And if these numbers are not indicative of how ineffective social equity programming in cannabis has been, how, how bad it is now, and how uh, um, it will most likely continue to be that bad, you know, I, I don't know what is. Right? Uh, New York was supposed to be different. It was built around community of legacy players uh, that had a say in everything in regards to how it should be, how it should be rolled out. Kathy Hochul was in it from the start. Um, um, before she got into office, it did take a bit of arm twisting, but Cuomo, he was down too. Right? He wanted to give it to all the bigs first, and he lost that battle in, in, the, in the arena of public opinion, and he relented and um, didn't work. That's how you remember it, huh? Yeah, so uh, there are, uh, mm -hmm. what I have to say is uh, there's way too many issues at hand with the cannabis industry as a whole. Jason, would you not agree? And I don't think there's any issues with the cannabis industry besides taxes. Oh, man. Just taxes. That's Perfect. it. All right. There's, there's way too many issues in the industry <laughs> as a whole, even if you remove the entire social equity component. So my, my gripe with everything right now in the social equity lane is that um, the system and those building it continue in every damn market to over promise and under deliver to the people and communities who've been screwed over time and time and time again right you know what we don't have much of in this in this lifetime jason time time mm -hmm. i see i got that right yes so black and brown folks will continue to buy from each other's businesses. It doesn't matter if it's in cannabis, it's in mainstream America, or whatever it is, right? So that's not an issue. Um, what is an issue is this dangling of a, of a fucking carrot out here and, and the government agencies and entrepreneurs out there continuing to suggest that throwing these licenses and quote unquote opportunities at folks um, that the systems that y'all have thrived in for generations um, you throwing these at us like the game ain't already rigged from the jump uh, I say like kill that whole generational wealth shtick and um, shtick. Yeah, like, mm. we, we know that it's not happening all right, I, 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 so I want to end things. We're going to open this up. but We should I wanna, just call this Broken Promises. Right, so I want to end things by saying this. Not all social equity stories have ended bad. However, looking at the big picture, social equity, and how it's been rolled out across the country so far, it continues to give false hope. It wastes people's time, wastes people's time mm -hmm. and in my opinion, it puts people in the worse positions than they have been and than they were before deciding to play their hand in this game of legal cannabis. But um, congrats to all that have made it so far. And um, I have nothing but respect uh, for your tenacity, grit, willingness to push forward and win against all odds. And I wish all of you the best of luck and positive vibes uh, going forward. Uh, but you guys have to know that you are truly special. You are exceptions to the rule. Hardly anybody's making it in this shit, social equity or not. So, like, like, giving a bunch of people false hope, that's a bunch of bullshit. But, hey, $654 million in legal states to date, uh, legal sales to date, New York. Uh, congratulations on that. Missouri did that in, like, a month. Or gas, or gas <laughs> I, I don't know uh, what the next two years is going to look like, but the trap is going to continue winning because there's more opportunities there than there is in this legal shit. Um, but will New York eventually live up to its potential? I don't know. Let's talk about it. I'm Rico Lamit, the dopest dad on the street for High at Nine News. Quit lying.
Well, if you're sold all this hopey, dreamy stuff, you can come sit next to me and we can talk about what's really happening, which is you now have the opportunity to fail just like everyone else. I've said it a million times. I continue mm. to say it. Social equity is not a guarantor of generational wealth. It's not a guarantor of yeah. success. It is just keeping you, justice-involved participant, from being able to be shut out because of said justice involvement. And it's also now giving you something you haven't had before, which is something valuable enough that rich people want to come and fucking steal it from you. Yeah. So it's also made you a mark. Congratulations. Wouldn't you say you a target lottery. more than a mark? Both. Okay. Hmm. You know, um, Real generational wealth is old growth forests and an ocean with food that we can eat. What? I ate food from the ocean last night, Matthew St. Germain. Real generational wealth? Mm -hmm. Our old growth forest, Jason, so that we can breathe, mm -hmm. and create actual novel medicines to help heal the human race. That's real generational wealth. Without trees, we all die, you guys. That's true. Well, I mean, without water, we die faster. Correct. Clean oceans. Yeah. Yeah. A bunch yeah. of Shout thirsty out to bitches. That's right. It's the thirst <laughs> trap, you guys. Oh, yeah. boy. Mm -hmm. Burn down the forest. <clears throat> you know, I mean. Wow, no, Rico. Is, uh, do I, am I lying? <laughs> am I lying? I mean, I mean in all in, in, in all in all in, in, in all reality, we do need uh, we we do need to clean up all of these national parks and get rid of all these dead trees and whatnot because they just cause a lot more fires and stuff. Or is if we burn said, down Fern Gully, where is Yarrow going to live? We need live? to sweep the forest. Yeah, <laughs> he's actually to... been raking the uh, the forest of NorCal on his on his weekends off. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's not all he's been raking. Oh boy. Oh, oh man. Boy. Oh boy. Oh, That's okay. Rake. Rake. Uh -huh. yeah. mm -hmm. He raked at a dollar ninety nine. He didn't earn this morning. I hadn't seen no hugs happen. Uh, man. Uh. No, um, but yeah, but uh, do you think this is a respe uh, respectable number um, 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 overall from uh, um, New York, right? So I think it's embarrassing to even throw this statistic out. Like, hey, let's put out a press release and show you we have fucked up. Yeah, but no, what, that's that uh, 21, 21 months. I mean, but New York has been 22? constantly putting out stories to show their total incompetence. So I don't know why this would be any different. I don't know. Maybe they need the Chinese nationals to come back and start controlling the narrative again, because at least it made a little bit more sense when again? it was skewed. Well, when, were, when were they doing it before? Oh, they were. Are good. you kidding? Are you Kathy serious? Hochul and yeah, Cuomo's Kathy. old aide, exactly. uh, former aide, and her husband were officially arrested. Oh, uh, yeah. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. And, and on top of that, asking, too, oh, on, on top said, of that, I'm too, asking, I think Mayor Adams is getting wrapped up in this. Are you a pretty brown girl? What I'm asking about is, did she have anything to do with the cannabis thing? Is it Next question. Uh, well, Kathy, uh, I don't was she know. tied to most that? Of her messaging, most of the messaging that she was putting out was around COVID, around Taiwan's involvement, putting out pro-Chinese messaging, claiming credit for Chinese government for things that they didn't do. But I mean, I don't know. I do seem to remember that when <laughs> Kathy Hochul, it out there. I do seem to remember Rico that when Kathy Hochul uh, tried to uh, tried went, went to that that first dispensary when they first opened, she did try to buy an ashtray, but only had Remy B in her pocket, and so they couldn't they couldn't accept it as currency. <sighs> <laughs> Well, she should have had Remy Martin, and she could have gone to the trap shop and traded it. Hey, shout out to Remy oh, Red. Boy. I used to get down oh. on that. Shout out to Prom <laughs> Night. I had some Remy Red, some of Alize. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. You know what I'd like I mean, to see? I wish, and I will never get it, obviously. But I mean, I wish I could see the total dollar spend in the market in New York and see how much of it actually was spent in the license market, and how much of it was spent on, you know, well, they Zach Woods product. They had another. Uh, is anybody covering that story today? I wish there was a trap meter marker and we could really measure everything. All right, all right so is, is since, no, since is they're giving covering? them five based on their income, right? Mm -hmm. Is nobody those. covering that uh, um, that other New York story from AMNY? So um, it's, it's funny that you say that, um, uh, uh, Jenny Beth, because there was a there was another story that came out mm -hmm. today, and uh, since nobody else uh, grabbed it, it's right on that uh, right on that track. It says shopping local and legal. Most New York marijuana users are buying their buds from licensed operators. This AMNY came out with this. That's a total lie. <laughs> that's a total lie. We all know that's that's anybody. I, I mean, Do Dr. Mark, you're the closest one here to New York. Do you buy that for a second? 
It's a sixty-seven no percent. They said sixty-seven percent. Sixty-seven percent. My ass. Purchasing in the uh, in, in, Maybe, in the state of New York is buying. Ma- you know what it is? I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt, and I'm going to suggest that they forgot the decimal point because it should be six point seven percent. Oh my god. <laughs> that's where it should be. They forgot Jesus. the decimal point. That's that. That's how they messed up. It's just a typo, Rico. Sixty-seven percent. Six point seven percent. What? Yeah. That's what. I, that's what I'm going to put it at. You know, I hate to agree with Jason Beck this early, but I do. Oh, look at that. It's only 20 minutes in. I agree. I agree with y'all, too. I'm just saying this is what AMNY put out. And they they said that uh, 67%. Uh, and this was hidden in the in that same report, but uh, well, yeah, nobody else is putting out that number because they know it's fucking cap. <laughs> well, <laughs> but you know. AM, AM Y put it out there. There's eight stories that I looked at um, to write this morning's story, and AM and Y is the only thing, only one tied to this story that is, is uh, even bringing up that mm-hmm. 67% of uh, smokers in New York are buying legal. Well, you know, everybody knows it's fake. You, you know, Rico, our, our our country has been being plagued with fake news, and this is just some fake news that has seeped its way into the cannabis space. Yeah, shout out to cat and dogs, man, being eaten. Mm. Right. And on that, we're, <laughs> that, we're going to go to a commercial and we're going to be right back. <laughs> 